Okay, this is a talk through Small Basic 2. Um, it's the same program, we're just on to the second section. And in this case, we're mainly going to be looking at adding in uh, drawing lines and shapes. And again, I'm basically going to follow through the text that's on the OneNote. So if you're looking at that and you just want to read through that, feel absolutely free to ignore the video. Very quick reminder, like last time, I'm still using comments here so I can write things in here, which the computer will ignore, so I can run it. I'm not going to see anything on here, um, but sometimes it's quite a useful way of giving um, feedback, and it's certainly an important way of leaving instructions in there for me to look back at later. So, quick look at the graphics window. Um, Imagine the graphics window is the writing board or painting canvas on your computer screen. You can give it certain properties, like your favourite colour as a background. You can draw lines and circles. You can also make it listen to you via your keyboard. Now, some of the examples that it gives you um, on the OneNote don't work on Small Basic Online. So, there's a bit of a clue here. So, if I type in something like graphics window, like before, and I type in background colour and press tab, and I add one of the 16 colors that we talked about last time, then that works. If I type in graphics window dot width and then equal 300, you'll see I get an error message here. This won't happen in the offline version. If you've downloaded it, this will work fine. But if you click on here, or if I try to press run, you'll see I should be getting an error message. And at the bottom of here, it will tell me what the error message is. And in this case, it says property graphics window width cannot be assigned. It's ready only. I assume that means read only. But basically what it's telling us is that in this version, this doesn't work. And the reason is, if I just remove that so we get rid of that error and go back to the top and run, because on this one, the graphics window is a fixed space. It, it basically opens full screen or not at all every time we run it. So we can't use that. So if you find something like that that's gone error, and you can't run it at all, then either do what I just did then and remove it, or the other thing you could do, so if I just put it back in for a second, so do graphics window width equals 300, we've got the error message. If I press um, the asterisk button just before it, the apostrophe, then you'll see um, it comments it out. Now the computer will ignore that and I could either write, this doesn't seem to be working, so that when I hand it in, I can see what's happening, or so that if you eventually get this onto an offline version of it, then you can make it work. Okay, so that's the basic graphics window that we're seeing. Now again, last time we talked about coordinates, so if we'd managed to specify the coordinates, like last time, we need to start in the top left-hand corner, X takes us across, Y takes us up and down, and we can need to remember those because they come up a lot. The next set of instructions on this one start to get us to talk about shapes. So if I just remove this section for now and start with a fresh bit, okay, a lot of this is playing around. So we're going to do the same thing again here. We're going to do graphics window. And I'm going to set a background color. Remember to press tab as soon as it's got enough in that it can't be explained, confused anything else. I'm going to write blue. I will attempt to type at least one of these words correctly. Now, if you see blue's coming up as red, it means it doesn't know that. So if I use uh, blue like that one, we should finally get a different color. Okay, let's just test that. Maybe that is working okay. Yes, that's working fine. Okay. Then we can't specify the width, and we can't specify the height in this one, but there are some things we can do. So we should be able to specify the title. And if I put the title here as graphics with a line, it looks to me like this is another section that doesn't work on here. Okay, let's just have a quick look down at the bottom, see what it says. Okay, so graphics with the title also doesn't work. That's not a problem. We can just remove that one. If you're using the offline one, do try to use it. But we can use graphics window draw line option 
Now I've got an X1, a Y1, an X2, and a Y2. Now this is pretty straightforward. Basically, X1 is how far across we're starting, Y1 is how far down we're starting, X2 is how far across we're finishing, and Y2 is how far down um, we're finishing. So if I choose something fairly straightforward, like let's say we start 100 across, and we finish 200 across, but if I set this as 300 down the page, and 300 down the page, and we run that, what we should get is a line that's kind of in the middle and going across. Okay, well, a bit further to the side than I imagined, but that's right. Now, if I change that second X coordinate and make that a much larger number, like 700, you should find that's now a much bigger line. If we change these two, so if I change, for instance, that one to be, you know, that one to be less far down, then we should get a diagonal line because it'll be starting 100 and sliding down to 300. So press run. Okay. So that's basically how a line works. Give you a bit of a chance to play around and experiment. Obviously, if we um, did it the other way, if we started by saying that this is 100 across and this is 100 across, but this is 100 down going to 300 down, we should now get a vertical line. Okay, so you can play around with this and you can make it different bits in the way you want. If you've got two lines to draw a line in the graphics window, then we need three, uh, well, then we need three points to represent a triangle. So we can play around with the triangle as well. So let's take out the draw line section now and let's use draw triangle. Okay, so again, we need to start off how far down and how far across. So on this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I want it to be uh, zero across from the edge for the first coordinate, but 250 down. Then I want it to be 125 across and nothing down. And then I want it to be 250 across and 250 down. Now if I run that, what I should get is a triangle at the edge. Obviously if I want to then change that, I could say I don't want that to be zero across, I want that to be 100 across. I don't want that to be 125, I want that to be 225. And I don't want that to be 250, I want that to be 350. And what you should find is the whole triangle looks the same, but it's further across, because I added 100 onto each of them, so I didn't change the shape. If I want to try more shapes, then this is where it becomes your challenge. So what can you do with rectangles? What can you do with some of the other shapes? If you delete on here the draw rectangle triangle and you choose rectangle, okay, or you choose, let's just type that in for you, so it's like draw. We've tried eclipse before, we've got triangles, what else can you make? How big can you make it? What shape can you make it? That's the challenge. And then what you need to do is you need to hand that in. So the rectangle can be drawn with passing four arguments, the x-coordinate of each point and the y-coordinate of each point. The width is calculated on the x-axis and the height is calculated on the y-axis. Try changing the color of it. What can the lines be? Can you try putting more than one on there? Can you see if you can make a shape? Could you see if, for instance, if you used um, two or three beside each other, can you make them look like bricks in a wall? See what you can do to make this more interesting, and then make sure that's handed in in your submission page, please.